Welcome back. The FBI's probe into Wayne County corruption is about to stretch into its third year, and some are wondering if the leads are starting to go dry. But tonight's 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones has learned the Fed's investigation is very much alive. After being trounced in the August primary, Bob Ficano's political career is all but over. With that FBI probe dogging him for nearly three years, well, that's not ending anytime soon. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support and all the... Yeah. On the night Bob Ficano came in a distant fifth in the Wayne County executives race, he told supporters he was proud of the work he'd done. What he didn't mention, that just weeks earlier, key members of his staff continued to meet and correspond with federal officials probing his office for corruption. Records first obtained by the Detroit News show that Ficano's deputy CEO, Jeffrey Collins, was on the receiving end of email after email from U.S. Attorney Mark Chutko, who last year successfully prosecuted the Kilpatrick Enterprise, securing prison sentences for all three defendants. The feds arranged meetings with four current and former Ficano staffers, including one-time economic development chief Ray Byers. In June, they sought records related to Ficano's top fundraiser, Nader Fakuri, and any documents detailing conflicts of interest between him and his brother-in-law, Ron Boji's business, the Boji Group. Last year, we reported that HUD concluded that $1.5 million in federal money secured for Boji through Wayne County amounted to a conflict of interest. Bakuri now works for Bochi, and last year, even county officials admitted the deal raised eyebrows. Are you convinced that this was ethical? Ethical is a separate issue from what you're doing. I personally would have some ethical concern. The feds were also after records from the Wayne County Business Development Corporation, a shadowy nonprofit that we first reported was paying Ficano's former economic development chief, Turkiya Mullen, 150 grand in secret bonuses, courtesy of the businesses that wanted county contracts. And records show the feds have been looking into this man, too. He's Anthony Parlavecchio, a one-time Ficano aide. Federal officials asked for everything from his personnel file to records related to his work on the failed county jail project and in the development of Hype Athletics, a rec center built on county parkland. Parlovecchio's attorney says his client hasn't been contacted by the government. While the feds are clearly probing Ficano's office, none of their requests name him specifically. Ficano has insisted from day one he's committed no crimes. A spokesman for Ron Boji said that the FBI has had most of these records for three years and nothing has come from them. So far, the feds probe into Wayne County has netted five convictions. Ficano's last day in office is December 31st. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.